straight to receive applause without having done anything. <laughs> <laughs> Once I was a chorus girl on Broadway, thought that I would be a big star someday. The years went by, so in the start I realized that I was never going to make it on the great white way. Every time I went to an audition, a hundred girls would line up in position to try their chance to sing back together and the lights. Made us all a slave to some theatrical tradition. Laura, did you ever get lonely out here in the middle of nowhere? Excellent question. No, I have my imagination to keep me from. I was too busy using my imagination. Where do you want variety and a life of gay frivolity? Worry not about propriety. Pretty girls impress society. We have a display of fine array of costumes. Nothing would be better than to be a politician. Beats me where he's just a nine to five to I'll start a big campaign, I'll put out my name. Nothing in the way of my political ambition. Oh boy. <laughs> You can make her do what you want her to, just take her she and twirl. She can cook, she can sew, she can clean your house, what your teammate, her big spouse. <clears throat> it's always been my kind of secret passion. To model and the real in this fashion. I'll sash it in the runway and prove to you that one day I will be the fashion of the history of fashion. It would be so groovy if I could star in a movie. I could be the toast of all of Hollywood. I would have such glamour as my audience would find her and they see if my autograph is where they should. I could be a beauty or a pretty bombshell cutie. or just the sweetest little ingenue. I would flirt and glitter. I would flirt and I would glitter. I would do all of the things movie stars do. Oh, boy. <laughs> I want to thank you very much for coming. Appreciate it. Please spread the word that Marta is here. She's doing well. She's doing fine. She's doing her own shows. And uh, we greatly appreciate it again. Thank you.